Broadcasting live from the Treehouse in Phoenix, Arizona. It's Beer Googles. Double E. Double O. Double G. With Chris Woodsy Peralta and Mark Poles. From the home office in Gilbert, Arizona. <clears throat> oh, dude, I pulled a pancreas. Shit. Oh, are you okay? Oh, man. I think you... Oh, oh. you said something. Yeah. <sighs> You almost judged on the, on the <laughs> recording. Shoot! Don't you, you, hate you, me almost do judged, that? you almost judged all over it. Oh, it's the worst. Happy New Year! Merry New Merry New Year! Beef jerky time. December twenty seventh, twenty twenty. Welcome. We decided to squeeze in Ooh, a special episode, like me like and I said, my jeans. What up? We're sliding into your DMs, you ladies and gentlemen, for the New Year. Well, we want to. We want to slide in everyone's DMs with our re- resolutions, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we had fun with the gift one for Christmas, so we're yeah. doing this one. Um, welcome. Happy New Year again, even though it's not New Year for us, but Merry Christmas and it Happy will be Boxing in a couple Day. Days. And Happy Saint. Uh, there was a Saint Stephen's Day yesterday also. I Saint saw that. Who's, who's, whose country was that? That's, of course, Britannia as well. Oh, uh, was that, is that Ireland? Is that I- uh, Irish? Yeah, yes, it is Irish. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then Chris Cross. Could you sing uh, Oh Danny Boy for me? Oh Danny Boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. You cannot sing that when we get Danny on, okay? Because he's probably heard it a million times. Who's Danny? Gibson. Oh, Danny C. Backdoor Commodore. Backdoor Commodore. I I didn't know we were going there. Next couple weeks, bro. Really? Hopefully. Are you teasing this? I'm teasing teasing you because it may not happen. (laughs) Yeah, you're just teasing me live on the recording. Yes, that's correct. Everyone's going to hear. So we're manifesting, is what we're calling. Yes, that. that's oh. what we call it. Yeah, it's not. Bra- it's not bragging. It's manifesting. Mm. Yes. So today, mm-hmm. no. Back to you, sir. Um, today is what? Uh, the twenty seventh of December, bro. And what? What are we? But what are we talking about today? Because when is this dropping? It's a filiomia. No. Uh, we're New Year's Eve, dude. No, this is on New Year's Day. Okay, I was off by a day. I'm so sorry. New Year's resolutions, not. Normal ones, like, I'm going to go to the gym and me, 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 me. This is fucked up ones or weird ones. Weird ass resolutions, bro. Or cool ones, actually. Yeah, or some also are, Tambian good, cool ones. Some are like advice, like the Tal ba- the not Tal Bachman, but the the guy like always wear sunscreen. That guy in that song when like he told you like, live in, live in, uh, live in Los Angeles for six months, but leave before you turn too soft. Live in New York for six months, but leave before you turn too hard. See, that's good advice. It's dude. great advice. I that. Yeah, it's a, they did it to the Damn. guy. There's, it's a whole song. It was like a oh. '90s or two, like okay. late '90s or early 2000s song. It's it. It was good. It was called "Always Wear Sunscreen." Okay. Uh, yeah. Smart that, man. Resolution number one. Oh, go. Always wear sunscreen. No, no. Resolution number one is is yours. Go. All right. Here we go. We have. Oh, you're starting dirty. Ooh, dirty. Because uh, Chuck Mark likes to do listy things. Listies. Sorry, these are my lists. This is my idea because I got problems. Uh, the first one on the list. <laughs> this one's awesome. <laughs> I like, we should probably save that one. Never by accident walk in on my dad cleaning the shower naked ever again. <laughs> Excellent. That shit's hilarious. <laughs> I, that's actually the best resolution that. dude come on i imagine that and then i look at our house and our house have you ever seen our house our house, our house is burning down go M- remember those things called a foam booth i do yes our shower that we grew we had to shower oh, in your in, little house in, in, in philadelphia? our house in germany yeah or in germany in philadelphia in philadelphia is in philadelphia foam, foam booth smaller than the as small as, if not slightly smaller than the phone booth. No lie. So it's a phone booth. You squeeze in there, and it even has one of those like accordion type door, like the the double hinge one that has to slide closed. And is lock that the place. Uh, is the is the shower head real low? So it's like it's not even above chest. your head. Yeah, it's not even above my head. Yes, yeah, so you got to scooch down. Yep. Scooch down, and you can't. There's no room to even scooch back and down. Because like if you scooch down, the other part's got to go somewhere. You got to go out too. You can't <laughs> scooch down. You can't just lower without. Yes, Some it has part, to go somewhere. Your footprint changing. Yes. So you scooch down and out, but there's no out to go. So you're scooching and you can't even scooch. And you're trying to get under this thing and you've got, help me, help me. And it's awful. So you have a phone booth shower. Phone booth shower. As a matter of fact, there was some flood in my parents' house from snow something. 
and uh, snow melting too quickly or something. And uh, that's a that's a slow flood. I forget what it was. Yeah, like a flood. No, it, it kind of comes in when it comes because it can't. I think it rushed in. Regardless, or ill regardless, <laughs> I'm so unregardless. Confused. The plumbers who came in to fix it saw this shower and took like selfies of them in it <laughs> to show how small it was. It was like one of those. It was one of those oh, main attraction great, showers. Dude. Yeah, it was a main attraction shower. So, uh, yeah. Is there and, like a plumber's Instagram? So I'd never see my dad. The most fucked up showers. My, you know how many people have seen my dad naked? One. A lot of fucking people <laughs> see my dad naked. Just FYI. Speaking of naked dads. Oh just my god. Coming out of the bedroom. What's all this commotion? Uh, dad, we're twenty people came over to say hi. Where's your towel, bro? Uh, yeah, just come on out, dangling. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's Move along. To, Nothing yeah. to see here. Oh, uh, I'll do mine real quick. Go. So you, real no quick. real quicks, bro. Oh, no more real. Is that a resolution? Yeah. No <laughs> yes. 2021. We've no been real really quicks. Really good. How, you have been. Yeah. We. All of us. All. Was I the only one doing it? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Get a passport, bro. Why? Not to travel. Just to own a passport. Okay. Um, they're smart to have in case, you know, uh, Twitter world, maybe something happened to a uh, girlfriend, uh, ex-wife and uh, ex-wife boyfriend of yours. You know what I'm saying? And you got to leave the country. Probably a good idea to have a passport. <laughs> um, but if you're on the 405 freeway, <laughs> being in your Bronco, being chased wow. by the police, it's a good idea to have a passport. Wow, Mr. And girls. Collins is driving a car. My good friend. E.G. Collins? Who, who, who was the guy? I don't know. We what talked about this yeah, on, the, on a previous podcast. I don't know the driver of OJ's name. Bronco. I, they were friends. And he was an ex-football yeah, player. Yeah, and you and thought he went to USC, and I was like, I don't know, dude. I think they did. Uh, okay. I don't remember. I don't care. Yeah. I'm sure you could beer Google in about 1.8 seconds. I don't give a fuck. Okay, why am I the only one on video, bro? That's my resolution is that you go, you go, you go. My resolution is you get more screen time. I am done. Okay. I've got a face for podcasting. It's beautiful, bro. And I do, but I also have a voice for podcasting. Nah, nah. I do. You don't. I mean, oh, oh, is that I is win. that the gaze? Yeah. I've got the Howard Sternism base. He lies. Numero dos. Yes. My second resolution this year, sir. Yeah. Knit more sweaters for freezing trees. That's that is very I'm gonna nice. do it, man. I don't care. But then I asked you who for who 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 would do this, and you said tree huggers, right? So wouldn't you just want to hug more trees to keep them warm? Both, but you you need. But then this. the tree would be warm when you hug it. Don't you get uh, that? Ah, yeah. Whoa. And see, I feel like the sweater would be is more for yourself because it covers the tree's bark. Or, it's hardy. Now you can give it more hugs because it's softer on the outside. Fantastic. Give a bigger hug. <laughs> Why am I still on the only one on video? I I oh my god. I know I sound weird when I talk, talk like that. <laughs> you sound like a dainty little flower. Dainty. Can I start calling you Petunia? Bro. Yes. Turn off t turn off Tinder and try to talk to people in real life. Uh, I'm not on Tinder, but, but oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. Resolution number um, two. That's a great, no, that's a good one. Uh, turn yeah. off Tinder, try to talk to people in real life. Yeah. Get your social meds down. Get your social meds down. Yeah. That's down actually your meds. really, yeah. Lower your meds. Yeah. Um, as much as we are on it to promote and self-promote. And then over self promote, um, yeah, get off that thing. It's it can it can be toxic. I honestly though, I'm not gonna lie, I've had really great Twitter. I'm in a really weird Twitter world that has been very friendly and supportive and encouraging. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just because I don't engage in the negativity. It's probably the idea, but like, yeah, I think if you just talk about good stuff and only engage with good stuff that's being talked about, then. You don't get the bad stuff coming in. It doesn't come in. Peace and love, bro. Peace and love. So what's the next one? Learn a decent party trick. You hide the uh, pickle? That's my favorite. Popcorn in the box, bottom of the popcorn box. Uh, I don't even know what a decent party trick would be, dude. Coin, magic? Coin? Yeah, is it card? like, hey, there's a quarter behind your ear. I don't, I don't even know what that would be. Like learn to play careless whisper on the saxophone or the piano or but i think you know you know, you know how to play you know how to sit and play dead I, you know yeah, to, i'm a you know great dog dude you're gonna fetch so I like stay. i feel like you know all of the tricks i know how to go get into my crate all that shit yeah yeah i yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. you know all the tricks oh uh, i do i just need treats um this one's dangerous and uh -oh. i do not promote it what why not wave to fellow motorists at four-way stops why don't you promote well, this, Chuck? You mean, 
Are you standing on the corner? Or are you in your car as well? You're, to I assume stop? you're in your car, fellow motorists. Okay, fellow so you're motorists. in your so car. You're in your car, and you come to a four-way stop. Yeah, and you're waving. Waving could wave one on and think both of them are getting waved on, and could cause a da- an, an accident. But that's kind of funny because it can be misunderstood, <laughs> misconstrued. <laughs> Yes, fender benders are hilarious. Hilarious. Because as long as no one gets hurt. Like, yeah, not, not of course. Not in any way. Yes. Just their but egos. Some, especially in like circles, like trying to get oh, on roundabouts. Off, roundabout circles are called circles. Oh, they're in, called circles? In Jersey, yeah. Oh. Because we're simple minded people, folk from the East. Simple minded folks. From the East Coast. Folk. Folk. We're not even folks. We're just folk. There's, okay, just one. Um, Singular. Yeah, but waving a fellow motorist at four way stops seems like it would could be a recipe for disaster. Should there be an asterisk there that says, if I'm there with just one other person? Yes, that would be very nice. Because if all four people show at the same time and you wave at all three, you're concerned about the logistics of a goddamn fictional thing. And the litigation of said thing. Also lawyer stuff. I've heard stories that you shouldn't wave people on, like, you know, like, go ahead, flash your lights at them. Because if they go and you flash your lights at them, you're just like, I was just advised showing them where I was as a safety precaution. But if you wave them on, you're basically clearing for them so you can take accountability if something happens. I've heard stories of that. I don't know. Okay. But it, I think I think it's... Because your, your last one was so lame, learn a party trick. I think this one's perfect for you. This one's uh, my next resolution. To find someone to kiss besides my dog. Zzz. My dog, Zuh. Yeah, I, I kiss my dogs a lot, so that's uh, that's pretty accurate. I should do that. Are you like the Mark Harmon of the 2020s? Uh, with his dog, Wonder Mutt? You know what we need? Besides bread. Besides bread. We need a woman. <laughs> that's summer school, the movie. 1986 school. for all you kids out there. Yeah, that's not inside joke. That's it's a terrible school. movie. It's a great movie. It, I tried Here's to watch it again. It's Chainsaw. I couldn't do it, dude. Yeah, it's hard. It's it was just and I loved it when I was a 16 year old. And the it, movies change a lot. It sucks now. Look, Fast Times to Ridgemont High is, is is much more nostalgic. Good. It's still good though. Than it is. Yeah, but it's much, there's more nostalgic good than it is like quality good, hold up good. You know what I mean? I was thinking I might watch Weird Science again. That's a good one. Yeah. We're not taking a tangent at all. I like it. Weird Science. Weird Science. So, sir. Yes. Are you finding people to kiss beside your dog? Uh, Just you, bro. Yeah. We're going going out for uh, New Year's Eve dinner. Uh, Mike, you're going to kiss me on New Year's Eve? No. Oh, damn it. But we're going out for New Year's Eve dinner. We're just going to leave. We'll be back here and probably just close it out here if you're interested. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Going to a cool place. Haven't haven't been there before. So just came back from Vegas. Yeah. Oh, oh this is total tangent. How was that? How so, so, let me, slowest, so? Let me ask you. Slowest I have ever seen, and I've been there over a hundred times. One hundred and two times. I've been there. Well how's over times. How's Vegas on Christmas? Slow as all get out. Literally, it was. We spent a lot of time in the hotel room because it was. Not where you love people watching. There were it wasn't nair there was nary a person to nary. watch. Nary a person to watch, sir. But we had great food. Delicious food. Fantastic. We uh we had uh ping pong pong. Bless you. At Gold Coast. Delicious. Go. It's amazing. Uh get anything with pork. <laughs> Still Duh. they're po- bows, you know, pork bow. They're delicious. Um and then we went to Zuma. For some uh, sushi-ish types of, we had sashimi, Zuma. yellowtail sashimi. Where's Zuma? And uh, it's in Cosmo, Cosmopolitan, okay. by Aria, by City Center. Yeah, right yeah, there, yeah, right. Across from Planet Hollywood, next to Bellagio, I would guess, kind of. Shh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we went, then we had uh, breakfast at Chayo the next morning, and then we had lunch at Canonita in, Ven- in Venetian, and then we had dinner at... Colicchio's uh, Heritage Steakhouse in Mirage. Delicious. Amazing. I need a nap just listening to you, dude. Is it, is talking it food that boring? All sounds good, dude. Oh, yeah. And I'd eat a big steak and take a nap. Yeah, we had we had open table. We got like 500, 600 points in open table. Cause we wow. Had, yeah, because we just open tabled everything. And first, you have to. Reservations are mandatory. 25% capacity Because the COVID's? 
because they the they, Covis. Yeah, Vegas got locked down partially again, and they cut it to tw- from fifty percent to twenty five percent, and it no one was there, man. So it like, didn't. But you no got extra points, there. so it's cool. Yeah, it was totally cool. But it, but we had a great experience. We always make lemonade. So we're always good. And it's Magsy. I love her. We have a great time. Especially when you spike the lemonade with vodka. And then we get lemon. You know what else we make out of lemons? Lemon juice. Lemon poppy seed muffins yes. that you just had today. Lemon poppy seed muffins. And Magsy just baked for us. So thank you, Magsy, for that. Um, she don't listen to the podcast, dude. Why are you talking to her? I don't know. <laughs> she does listen. Her resolution is to stop listening to us. Because <laughs> she's not interested. And successful. All right. This one, I don't want to stop. Okay. So I don't agree with this one either, but here is a resolution. Stop inserting slightly incorrect facts into Wikipedia entries. I love putting incorrect That facts. sounds like fun. Yeah. Slightly incorrect. Like slightly incorrect. Not like super wrong, but yeah. slightly incorrect. Like, remove the L in public library. Pub library? Move the L in public library. Oh, pubic library. Yeah. Love That'd it. That'd be fun. Yeah. Why not? It's a pubic library. Pubic library. So it's the library of pubics. Yeah. What? Yeah, what is the pubic library? Well, pubics go there. <laughs> it's they, pubically owned. They they check in, but they don't check out? It's pubically owned. It's follically challenged. Whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> that one was dumb. That's but funny. I would, I would rather, I would like to increase slightly incorrect facts into Wikipedia entries. It's nice person. It's like the social distancing. I I like social intimacy. So do you, are you gonna? What percent are you gonna increase your the time spent this year, twenty twenty one, on the insertion of slightly incorrect facts on the Wikipedia? Zero point zero zero percent. Oh man! So you already fucked up your resolution, it's and the more, year hasn't even well, started it's, yet. It's as much as last year. Oh okay. So or it's a huge success. It yeah, it's huge. I'm huge. even because I had zero point zero zero percent of incorrectly facts inserted. So if you just do one, if you remove the L from public, you you've been a huge hit. Oh, I, I infinitely increased my my Doubled. footprint. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It's really weird because it's really, really not a hundred percent because that's zero. Zero to one is double. It's infinite. Actually. Whoa! It's you're, you're dude. Different. I'm infinity, bro. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. What's your next one, man? I think I this like one's this awesome, one. dude. I'm going to try extreme ironing. You're two for two now. <laughs> Cuz first of all, you're a Virgo, so you're probably anal about your fucking creases and shit. And your dad was military. I don't iron very often, dude. Only like dress shirts. What would be extreme ironing to you? I uh, I don't know, dude. Is that like a Would you iron the iron? Yeah, I guess. I guess if you iron your underwear or your socks, or is extreme ironing like you iron for like 12 hours straight? Oh, okay. Or is it like ironing super fast? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. I don't even know. I don't even give a fuck enough to go- beer Google that shit. What is extreme ironing? I don't care. It sounds extreme, bro. It sounds extremely dumb, bro. <laughs> okay. I believe the records are held in the pubic library. The platinum this, medal of pubic extreme ironing goes to checkmark. <laughs> okay, so this next one. Yes. I will do this checkmark because the uh, other mark, plain old mark, he's not like this. Okay. But next, the only resolution is to go to work without a hangover at least twice a week. <laughs> so if you work five days a week. I work. Well, I work like three days a week. So that. So you so that's one day a week you won't be hungover. What? Correct. Okay. Yes, go to work without a hangover at least twice a week. That's smart. Yeah, well, yeah. That's pru- what we call prudent. Prudent in prudent. The, the Czech Republic likes this. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your next? Go one, to work friend? without a hangover at least twice a week. At least twice so that a means week. I'm hungover the other three days. You maybe, sir. You first of all. You're approved. You, I, yes. I approve you. It is not a not approved moment. Go to work without a hangover at least yeah. twice a week. All right. What What are you going to do after you extremely iron things? Uh, well, this one. <laughs> I don't know if you can do that. Oh, just watch me. I. I, I My do next it. resolution: to be able to finish a burrito from Chipotle. 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 I don't even know how to say it. Chipotle. 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 
Chipotle. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle. Chai Potley. I don't know. From the Mexican place with the big Chipotle. mega burritos, the twelve hundred calorie burritos. I've had a few you of those in my 1200 life. Twelve hundred calorie. You know their you know their caloric intake. Yeah, I had one after Tyson's funeral. That's probably the last one I ate in Vegas. I used to go there religiously. You don't you don't go? You don't ever? That was like no. six years. That was like four years ago. Four years ago, yeah. Wow. I, I, I mean I've gone there, but I haven't had a burrito. Like okay. I just went there last week, but I got a bowl. Oh, so I, I get it. I haven't I had a burrito. a burrito. Right, because I get a burrito bowl all the time. Yeah. I get the salad one or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra, like, it was really good. It's delicious. They yeah. make with the corn and look, the rice. I know bro. they've had some some challenges with some of their their food. Quality thing, but I got yeah. There, there are conspiracy theories on that, sir. Maybe we should delve into those. Uh, what? That yeah, that some of the competitors were tainting their their you, supply. Did you just say tainting? <laughs> yeah, they took poops on them. What? No, uh, you know the salmonella outbreak and stuff. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. I didn't know they, that there was somebody. There was a there was a le- allegations of tainting. Of like their, who? Del Taco and Taco Bell. Well, because well, they're so well. All of the competitors, any fast food. Oh, chain so even Burger King well, not, and blah blah blah. I'm just that's the. That's the allegation, right? It makes a little sense. Oh, yeah, um, to drive business away so that they would go somewhere else. Well, they're fresh. It makes it easy to taint their food source because it's not frozen and shipped like right from the factory all the time. Right. right? A lot of their stuff is like farm freshy type stuff that is more susceptible to salmonella, strains Bad of bacteria. Things, yeah. yeah, of course, but their food's delicious, I think. I've had great experiences there. I forgot you used to go there a lot. Yeah, I used to religiously it was my uh, the, i went to the church of chipotle but if you okay let's say you're an, you're an avid chipotle person and you go twice a week let's just say and then you they, they go through their little salmonella fucking phase and bad shit where would you go as a replacement i mean i'm not i'm not i wouldn't go to burger king there I isn't one exactly no. i wouldn't go to Boston Market would probably be the closest only because it's like fast, but it's prepared. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's still slow roasted, but it's there. Or would you go to like Whole Foods and go to the salad and make make your own salad? Salad or... I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, it's a great question. I guess I would do, honestly, I would probably do Filberto's for burritos or something. Yeah. It's easy. It's fast. It's like... But then you always take a nap after the Philly Bees burrito, bro. But it, you know, convenience is... Convenience is king nowadays. We're we're very busy people, my friend. Oh yeah, no, that's true. So and we're kind of a little lazy in the title. We got a little. We got it all. We got the trifecta. It's amazing, isn't it? it but it, but we are busy. I mean, we're pulled in so many directions, right? So time is limited. Probably just going another line. Like Chipotle is fast enough to do fast food, you know, to do quickly. But that's what's great about it. It's fresh and fast. Without the f- without the fresh, right? The Chipotle is. Yeah. I think still, people would go fast. Over like long and fresh, yeah. I just that's in my opinion because it's 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 tough out there, people. It's tough out there, bro. It's tough out there. All right. Come on. So, um, my next resolution would be to collect airsick bags from every major airline. I think that's amazing. I think you should do it. I think it would be, but Pan Am is Pan Am around? In no. That little don't they just do like one little island hopper thing now? Pan they, Am? Yeah, like literally they I do like they're gone. one. I know. I think they came back as like a one flight operate, like a one plane operation. You should see if you can get like a Northwest and a TWA and an Eastern and all the airlines Eastern that are defunct. People airline. Remember and then what you then? do is you collect all the air sick bags and you put them in like a shadow box as like an art thingy. Okay. like a And it's called barf collage. bags. You're welcome. Do we write out World of Barf Bags <laughs> in the Barf Bags? And then you put it in the, in the pubic the... museum, dude. Hello. <laughs> I'm funny. You are funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I would like the collage of it. Welcome to the World of Barf Bags. Of uh, barf I am bags. Chrissy P., your uh, tour guide. On this side, we have the now defunct airlines of TWA and Eastern, and formerly known as America West Airlines. <laughs> My friend. Jays. Stop it. What? You're just crazy. I know. Is it, am I up or are you looking something up? I was looking something up, but I'm what, stupid. What are it's, you looking up? Eastern Airlines? I was looking up the Pan yeah, I was looking up Pan Am. What do just, you got? Well, there's something, but don't worry about it. I'm stupid. I don't think they're I think they've been gone for a while. It said yeah, it said they closed, but I remember them doing like literally like a Bahama flight. They did like they opened like somebody got their logo and paid oh. for all their stuff and flew as them. It wasn't like the same origina- originators because they went to Funk in 91. Yeah, they had the big crash. Yeah. 
103. And then Scotland. here's Pan American Airways 1998 to 2004. So they did come back for a little bit, it looks like, and then they closed. Because it said founded in 1998. So oh. there is a Pan Am that went Start after, restarted. That restarted, and then they all, then they went defunct in 2004. You so they made six years. So, yeah. Anyway, same thing. After your air sick bags? Yeah, after, yeah. So after I'm done collecting it. Now, do I want to collect them used? Uh, or would that add to You can, to it? but then that would, could create chain barfage, and chain barfage is really bad. That's the worst. I, I, I'm susceptible to chain barfage. Cha so does you, everyone, can you explain what chain barfage is? Uh, chain barfage is not, not a understand. topic that we should discuss frequently, but I will very briefly, uh, when I smell barf, I then want to barf also tambien. So, and tambourines also, yes. In the presence of food making a reversal of fortune in another reversal person. Reversal of fortune. <laughs> when I experience one having a reversal of fortune, it does encourage me to also want to have a reversal of The smell of fortune. makes me want to do it. The smell, it. So the look, have, the sound. The sound, not so much. The smell like is like, what? Yeah, yeah so, the smell. The I, sound if smell. you want to collect used barf bags, that's fine. I would highly suggest that you hire Check Mark's Cleaning Company to highly disinfect them before you add them to your shadow box art collection. I, I feel like the puke would act as a good glue adhesive to keep them attached, affixed to shed shadow box. So, well, I'll I'll have to workshop. That. I think we should table that. Yeah, let's because table I'm now getting grossed up. Okay, so now it's your turn. After, now it's my after turn. The, I will. No, no, no. Now back to you. Oh, now yeah. back to you, Bob. Now back to you. Next, deleting the Facebook app. From my phone, and only log in to check it once a day. That's smart. Done. I could do that because we did our the we did the podcast about our favorite apps and what apps could you never delete from your phone? What apps could you you just couldn't live without? And I don't give a shit about Facebook. Amen, bro. Even do you though even have Facebook on it, I do because I posted the Millennium Falcon yesterday, and I'm trying to get a lot of friends to promote the podcast. The Millennium Falcon is is what. It's a Lego kit kit of many 7,500 pieces. Beautiful. And I'm on step 640 of 1,400. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm 18 hours in or 14 hours in. That's it? Yeah. Wow, you're getting, you're going quicker. Sure. Some of the pieces, well, it depends what the steps, the other They're steps are. It's small and terrifying. You need tweezers. I need tweezers to put my Lego together. I feel like Hans and Franz. <laughs> All right. Um, just look. Okay, this is my next resolution. Go. Just look at your bank balance. Refusing to doesn't mean you have more money. It's true. It's probably a good Sad. idea to look. Well, yeah, that, true. I feel like that would spiral me. If you looked every day. Well, if I just looked even at it once, because right now my head's in the you sand. Just, I don't know what you, the hell I got in there. <laughs> You could have a dollar or twelve million, and yeah. you're like, eh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> really, two twenty, two twenty one, whatever it takes. <laughs> Bills are still seem to be paying, and they I've still got, seem I've got to be auto, paying. I've got auto pays on things, and and they whatnot. haven't bounced. Yeah, and I and I make monthly payments to, Stuff. and I pay off cards and this and that and the others. Nice, my utilities. So I hope I hope everything's okay. <laughs> uh, sorry, um, welcome to the bank of the ostrich with the head in the sand. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that one is. Uh, Joust. Yes. Oh, fucking great. Also. One of the best video games ever. Okay. So after you're, after you, you puke up a Chipotle burrito and after you delete your Facebook app. Yeah. And I kissed someone besides my dog after I threw up. I'm sorry. No. Oh yeah. Before you, I threw up. Before you threw up for sure. Uh, what, I, what's your next one? I will be randomly sewing one sequin. Onto every piece of clothing I own, including my beautiful Deadpool on a unicorn T-shirt. Boom! What's up? That. Hey now. That's good stuff. No. Yes. That would be sexy. One. I sequin. know one sequin. So I gotta buy seventy-five sequins to sew onto all my Iron Maiden shirts. <laughs> I like it. You do. No. What? I love it. You love it. I'm looking for this guy. Oh. All right. Is that it? That's it for that list. On to list it, number right? two, sir. Yeah. So that's that's some of these awesome uh, 
resolutions. Now, here are Twitter ones, right? Sure. It looks like a lot 20 of 20 bizarre so. New Year's resolutions. Boom. All right, sir. Why don't you? Is it my turn then? Should I just start with the uh, first yeah, one? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm All still right. pulling it up. Okay. And you do you have it pulled up? I, I it's, it's, it's is it loading, loading. 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 Um, well, I would like to start then. Please feel free. How about I'd like to get lost without any help from Siri? So what does that mean? We're, well, we're all too reliant on GPS right now. Gyps. So no one uses maps anymore, and everyone's reading has probably followed Siri or Googly, Googly, blindly. What's the other one? Waze. Googly, Waze. Blindly and ended up in the wrong location. It's almost as though technology isn't perfect. Well, it's not, is it? Yeah, but I'd think getting lost without help from Siri would be more like turn off my fucking phone and actually go on an adventure and then find it on a map and go that way. Use a map, like a Rand McNally Buy one at a convenience store. Oh, shit. Store. Rand those? McNally, dude. That's old school. Remember those motherfuckers? I do. I drove cross country six times in my life. We wow. did not have the fucking internet in our palm of our hands at any of those times. We were using fucking maps. Okay, do we get on this exit? Which one? Oh, should we take the 40? Should we take the 70? Should we take the 80? Should we take the 10? Which one do we take? Do we take the 91? Do the 40? Do we take... It, crazy shit do we go through oklahoma and missouri or do we cut stay north go through colorado or do we cut through yeah six times my friend six, six times. times six times i've gone yeah i get points for that man you should i'm just saying so i would love to get it's fun getting lost got lost in belize that was fun hell yeah but then you find it pretty quickly which is good being on an island but it is weird when you do take a weird turn you're like what the fuck all right uh, how about you, sir? Number one. Oh yes, you're you're number one. To be as happy as Brian. Brian's dog. How the dog? <laughs> Name is Brian. I'm Jimmy Stewart. The dog got a haircut, and he was extremely happy with the results. Says Twitter World. So he's a happy dog, and this dude wants to be as happy as his dog Brian aspires to be. Oh, even if he's not as blessed with such a fine head of hair. Tell us more about your dog, Brian. That's all. You know what? Tell us about Anders. Tell us about Anders and Boogs. The Booger Booger is Roxy, and uh, she's a boxer who's 12, and she's a crazy face, and she's amazing, even though she's 12, and she's an old lady. And Anders is nine, and he snores and farts like the littlest boxer in the world. And I wish I could be as happy as them as they have their own chaise lounge. <laughs> They're spoiled little shits. Wait, wait, why do you do nice things and say angry things? Because I'm not the there. The chaise lounge! Ugh! And I bought them! Well, I just did curious. buy... I, I actually have had the couch longer than I've had them. That's fucked up. I just realized that. They just took it over, and I didn't stop them. So... <laughs> Is that my fault or is that their fault? <laughs> yes. Oh fuck! All right, this uh, this one I I'm on board with. Okay. Would you like to hear my this second resolution? Okay. Force Twitter to add an edit button. I yes. Okay. Aren't you in agreement with that? I love that Facebook has an edit button. Now, what's really cool is it lets you know that the original message was edited. So, for example. I go on Facebook and I tweet something and I write snacks as I'm prone to do. <laughs> More snacks. And I'm like, More snacks. Well, I did do a than you on a tweet and I had, I couldn't delete it because it was one of three or one of two oh. in response. And I felt like that would have been so stupid to delete that one, but I would have loved to just edit and add the K. So I didn't, I typed than you um, instead of thank you. Anyway, Facebook, if you do it, it says like, Woodsy Peralta at, uh, edited uh, edited his comment on your post. It would actually tell me that you edited something. Oh. So when I post something now I get it. Okay. and I edit it, it like lets other people know that I edited it, yeah. which is nice, but it also gives you the option of editing. Right. Twitter, you have to fucking delete the whole post over a typo with your thumb, and you look like an idiot if you don't put something out that's perfect. So like... And that could be out there and people may have already liked it or responded to it and it may just circulate on its own weird thing, even though it's long deleted. 
So I think an edit button is very apropos. Now, once you edit it, you maybe have to re-like it or something. That would make sense. But, you know, but it's, I like that you can, you could edit it for like typos. Yes. I wonder why they don't have it. My chair is squeaky, bro. Got any WD-40 over there, bro? I got 43. Do you got WD-19? Yes, sir. No, no, 19? <laughs> Are you done with the Twitter edit button, sir? Yes, sir. I'm done. Next! I'm, I'm off my soapbox. Next! <clears throat> Make everything bigger, <laughs> says this tweet. Hey, yo. Hey, now. Bigger bank account and booty for 2019. Money makes the world go round, which is why a lot of us spend our lives trying to make more of it. So wanting to have a bigger bank account makes perfect sense. Wanting to have a bigger booty, though, that's another matter entirely. I concur. Do you concur? Uh, they are completely separate matters. I Money and booty... Two different things. I, I do agree that they are separate. But I believe that Christopher is, is into the big booty. I like all butts. Small, medium, large. Kind of like coffees. Venti, grande. But you have preferences. Well, yeah, but, I, you know, I, what all that shit. Okay. Well, that didn't really help. I was really trying to paint you in a corner there. Uh, yeah, good luck. I'm, I don't even like paint, dude. Or art. Well, here's, or Arturo. <laughs> here's a resolution <laughs> on board. On which, with which board, on which I cannot get. Yes. With something like that. With which? Check facts before sharing on social media. It's a certainly an unusual resolution. That sounds like a check mark. But it's good advice. Too many people now share stories on social media blindly without first checking their veracity. Let the fake news fight back begin. So I personally love, once again, just like I like adding irregularities to the Wikipedia... Fuck fact checking. It's all about what I feel, right? Perception's reality, man. I don't agree with that, actually. I think you should fact check everything, just to be clear. And now you're not talking. I totally would agree, dude. Yeah. Just check it. Yeah, or at least let's be, not be at least stupid. Question everything. Question yeah. everything. That's the point. Leo. Question everything. Because even, even within our agreement opinion system belief system whatever we have that all we, the systems all the things we Do you know what your new real agree. quick is systems i system a lot but you know i heard that there's a, there's a cool band called system of a down so you know and there's a, there's a good song called system by by uh, mega mega futile mega futility yeah dude that's not a good slayer song by the way <laughs> there you go it's nuts not a good slayer song they don't have one that's why it's not a good slayer song oh next yeah. I don't know what this means, dude. Can you help me tell? Can you tell me what my next resolution means? Because I don't know what it means. Visit the semi-iotic field more often. No, you have to read that one, and you have to kind of describe the picture. Semi-iotic. S e m i o t i c. Semiotic. Semiotics is the study of signs and sign processes. So, given that the location. In this image, which I will post, houses both a tree and a sign for a tree. It's a literal semiotic field. Am I pronouncing that correctly? I think it's semiotic. Semiotic. Semi. Semi. Semiotic. Yes. Semiotic. Se yep. yep. Semiotic. I am not good so at English. It's a study of signs and sign processes. So basically, there's a picture of a tree, an actual tree in the ground and then right before it there's a red tri there's a triangle a, a white sign. triangle yeah a white sign like an international highway sign of some yes. sort a traffic sign that's a triangle it's white with a black tree that looks exactly like the You're tree that why would right you put a it. sign there yeah. who's the vice president of signs in charge of sign production i'm not certain but and they're expensive. why why would they put why would you need a sign that says there's a tree ahead it's not like a slippery tree. And why would you need a tree like right in, in front, front of, it of the and tree? Not like a hundred feet in front. See, it's that's one resolution like I can't get feet. behind, dude. I don't give a shit about this. Fuck this field. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's so. That's some hostility towards the New Year's resolution, bro. That's how. That's how I roll, bro. <laughs> 
Fuck New Year. Fuck all this. Oh, shit. Um. All right. I guess it's my turn. It is your turn, sir. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I had to scroll all the way down to look at yours to try to read your goddamn signs. I'm so sorry that your fingers have to scroll so much. Signs, signs, everyone, there's signs. Everywhere, signs. All right. So this is an actual tweet. Eat less dirt. New Year's resolution for kids. So basically they're telling stop kids from eating dirt. If your child's actually eating dirt on a regular basis, you may have bigger problems than you think. Sadly, there's probably more nutrients in a bowl of dirt than a lot of fast food kids consume these days. Oh, shit. Preach. Is that... Unless you're going it's to Chipotle. Dig. Semi-dig. Yeah, Chipotle's all good and That's fresh. That's less, way less dirt. Correct. How about that? Boom. So I would stop kids from eating dirt, my friend. What? Yay, you. Yeah. Thank you. It's all about Thank the kids, you. bro. Yeah, I'm patting myself. I'm going to break my arm patting myself on the back. Oh. Hey, don't pull a hamstring. All right, can we do, can we do this one? You have to read the tweet on this one because this one's fucking classic. Uh, my next one? Oh, yeah. I'll be reading the tweet, sir. The next news resolution on my list, my goal for this year... 2019, let's just say go back in time. Let's go into My goal year. for 2019 is to accomplish the goals of 2018, which I should have done during 2017 because I promised I would in 2016 after I planned them in 2015. Hashtag New Year's resolutions. Very nicely done. While many of us make goals for the year ahead, how many of us actually manage to achieve them? This guy cl- clearly never does. Has he said the same goals since 2015? Oh, I planned him in 2015. <laughs> I like this impressive. guy. I do. I like. That. I want to have a beer with Gregory. What's his at? Can Gregory you... all. A R L T. Arlt. Arlt. In time. Back in time. So, um, my next one would be stop kids from flossing in public, and not not the string between the teeth, bro. Flossing is important in all times of days, in, in public or not public. But we're talking about the dance. Stop doing all those dances. Oh, those okay. Stupid was, dances from Fortnite. It took me, I was like, New, what? Year, New oh. Year's resolution for kids. You know that floss thing when yeah, you do this yes. thing? Yes. I, was I like, can't do it. Can you do it? I've never tried. And I've I, tried it and I can't do it. I don't care. I bet you could do it better than I can. I probably I could, but do I don't it. care, dude. I'm, I'm like, I'm good. Oh, man. you think you're all fucking better than me now, bro? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I do. I can floss better than you. <laughs> I obviously you can. Shit. Okay. Obviously, I can. Why well, be modest when I'm good, dude? Hello, my iPad's all fucked up. What happened? <laughs> it's broken. Why? Why did you? Why? Because it's going back in time. Is it, is it mesmerized by your stunning looks? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. No, it's like nine years old. I have one of those. You can't even update to like add new apps. I know, it's terrible. It All right, here terrible. we go, bro. Yes. I'm going to use my gym card more often. My New Year's resolution is to use my gym card more often. Hashtag New Year's resolutions. And this fine gentleman uses his gym card to cut a sandwich in half. I thought it was cake. I thought it was cutting a piece of cake. I off. love that guy. I really want to have a beer with him. Yeah. His card is being used more. He's u- he's literally <laughs> using it more. It's oh, beautiful, that's great, man. I love it. It's a beautiful thing. Well, my New Year's resolution, my next one, yeah. is to watch every episode of Power Rangers. Hell but yeah. For me, it wouldn't be that. I think for me, it would be G.I. Joe. Well, Power Rangers is it's live action. It's not a cartoon, right? No, it's real people, right? Right, but you'd but rather saying, watch the G.I. Joe cartoon? Right, I would rather watch G.I. Joe cartoon. I'm just saying Power Rangers is like akin to what we had growing up, right? Okay, okay. Which we didn't have a live action like that. A lot of ours were more cartoon. Except for Land of the Lost. We had Land of the Lost. We had like Knight Rider. But those were like an evening show. Yeah. And it was a little more adult, right? It wasn't like kids-based. Where like, I don't know, Thundercats. Yes. Do I, you know, watch every episode? But if I were going to watch every episode of a show with like, Kid, like a group of people, probably be saved by the bell. Sold, uh, don't you think? Because yes. saved by the bell had because it's awesome. got screech, bro. <laughs> Dustin, <laughs> you're a diamond in my heart. My well, oh, look at that play on words, bro. Yeah, but imagine watching every season of Power Rangers. I then they have like, and they've got offshoots, don't they now? And they're like fifty three eight seasons in. What? I don't know. Power There's Rangers? offshoots. To aren't there like power? Aren't there no oh, power? power Rangers. Rangers. I was like, meow. Oh, sorry. oh, there are definitely yeah. 
It was do like you Power think Rangers that Power VR Rangers just shit. basically stole Voltron and like made it non cat lions? Yeah, but they didn't. They don't assemble into one. Uh, yeah, but they, they all have the same color outfits. And yeah, they have the same outfit. It's very akin to that, but it's not exact. It's weird. It's like a hybrid. Yeah, it. it but I think it takes. It takes some cues from Voltron, I think, or whatever that, whatever that style was that Voltron used, because they had that in a lot of things. You know what I mean? Where they had like the, you know, the teammates and whatnot. Yes. Thunder Force Five and fucking crazy shit like that. Thunderbirds. Isn't the Thunderbirds like a marionette type? Uh, I, I don't know. recall that. I don't recall that one. Yeah, I'm probably it's probably me. So anyway. Power Rangers, your turn. Shit. What? I fucking... Do you, need, do you need me to read it for you? No, I don't want just to. pull it up on my damn phone. I quit. Okay. It's bull crap. Well, you're going to use your gym card more often to cut that beautiful spiral sponge cake. It's a swirl. It's Swiss. What's that called? A Swiss roll? Is that what that is? I think it looks like a Swiss roll to me. It could be a sandwich, but it, that's a lot a of mayonnaise. It's a lot of mayonnaise. Isn't it? And huh? look where it's cut. It's cut very thin. I don't know. Uh, maybe that a is a cake. It's a mystery, sir. We'll we'll have to ask Twitter World. Hello, Twitter World. Oh, your next one's awesome. I know, dude. Next one, bro. Eat more meat. Rodney will eat more meat in 2019. Hashtag New Year's resolution. Vegetarianism, vegetarianism and veganism are both growing trends. People are increasingly looking at alternatives to eating meat. But not this fella. He wants to go against the grain and eat more meat because who cares about animals? Fuck yeah. America. Oh fuck yeah. How is it okay to eat a, eat a cow but not a dog? Just uh, your I opinion, don't know, bro. Because you're I would think you're you're a dog lover. I, I see your point, dude. I'm I mean not a- I get it because dogs are domesticated, so people think it's different. And you can train a dog to sleep on the couch. Well, in theory, you could probably train a do- cow to do the same thing. I, to, I, I get it, dude. Okay. I was just curious. Yeah. I, it's not a criticism. It's a curiosity of, like, what where does one draw a line of love for animals, for example? Yeah. Because I'm, I, don't get me wrong, I don't want anyone to suffer anything to suffer, but I'm definitely a meditarian. I'm a recovering vegetarian, you bro. You know what I'm saying? You're a recovering vegetarian. Oh, that's even worse. Can you be a born again meditarian? Because yeah, you're we're born that again. Too. If you're born again, you're way more severe than you were just a general religious person. Born again. Hells yeah. Born again are strong. That's right. In their in their faith. The, our belief in meatism. You know what I would do next? What's that? My next resolution? Tell me. Rule the world. Rule the world? Yeah. I'm not going to get any more blunt than that. I Hells just want to yeah. rule the world. I'm not going to take any prisoners. Might be a little ambitious of me to think I can do that in just 12 months, but anything's possible, bro. Rule the world. Everybody know just check mark wants to rule the world. Yes, I do. Let me rule the world, please. Everybody wants to rule the world. The world. That's what I say. Of course they do. What, what's your next one? Next! Whoa. We're on target, man. Look as glamorous as a toddler. Hashtag New Year's delicious. resolution. Is to be as glam and pouty as two year old me. Says Deidre with her amazing glasses and her two year old crazy do. There's no denying this little girl looks glamorous and pouty. However, trying to retain that look into adulthood is likely g- gonna go down, not likely to go down well. <laughs> The blurriness of the photo is also a reminder that technology has improved massively. <laughs> it is a blurry motherfucking picture. We gotta, we gotta add this link, dude. This is awesome. Yeah, this whole link will we should add. Just remind me. I'll forget. You know me. What? Me and my me- I don't have a list, and I don't have a memory, and I don't do checklists. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Next uh, thing, what? I, have you ever done that? Because I would love to do this. This is a great resolution. Try new things, including absinthe yeah hell yeah it's official i tried absinthe last night it tasted a lot like the original nyquil green death flavor but definitely made me a tiny bit tipsy nyquil had a new green year's death resolutions flavor? to try new things yeah just the green nyquil remember the liquid they, they used- called it green death no it just kind of looked like green death it looked like 
Oh, okay. what, that was. I thought that was like the official. <laughs> yeah. Hi, we have NyQuil Green Death. It's going to cure your fucking illness with Green Death Liquid Formula. <laughs> Tried Green Death. The, you were the worst advertisers in the history. Hot pockets. <laughs> Okay, that was green the worst. Okay, Green Death is the worst advertising in the history of of all. Who marketing. named this? Get him down here now! I swear That's to like God, fucking Crash Airlines. We'll crash for you. Is that like uh, Captain Guinness? You want to crash at our place? <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. <laughs> that's awful, man. What if what if tonight something happens? Tonight is your night, bro. No, something major happens, and it was, and it's because we said it and we put it out in the universe. Okay. Scary. Why are we looking outside yeah. when, when you say that? Because there's an airport right here. Oh, Crash Airlines. I didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. That's how that works. That's how that vuzziness works, my friend. Okay. But anyway, absinthe, I bet. Have you ever had it? No. So I want to. Is it, what exactly is it? It is an alcohol, but it has properties and i believe it has copper in it which actually gives it its green color but it it's like it it's almost like hallucinogenic like yeah there's some something else in it i just don't know what it what it's composed of but the american absinthe doesn't have of course not the european one but i think now you can get the european version so you it, have there are two different ones i think is there is that does it have a higher alcohol content it's not content it's something i think there's like a psychotropic put in it so there's a mushroom Something. Fucking A. I don't know. Yeah, but bro, we can't drink it then because it's got fungus. fungus. I'll drink fungus. I just won't oh. put it on my pizza, bro. Yeah, I'd hold no my fungus. nose. fungus. I'd hold my nose and drink the tea or just swallow the pieces just whole. Just down it. Do like shots. Uh, yeah, I can't. Like Jaeger shots. Because I can't. Burp. I couldn't taste. Oh. Yeah, you could. Mushroom taste. I can't do Just it. do it. What's, what's next? Next. next uh, I'm going to tweet what I really think. Hashtag New Year's resolution. Going to tweet what I really think. A lot of people expressed a desire to say what they really think and stop holding back. However, tweeting what you really think is a risky move, especially in the current climate when anything you say can and will be used against you, which is true. Like you said, with the edit button, right? You can't, you, you delete it. It's already, it's already out there. If somebody retweeted it a thousand times, you're screwed, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's crazy. Local? But it is good. It's good to tweet what you want. Oh, it's on your mind, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, but I it think is. if it's worth, I think if it's worth saying, I wouldn't just tweet. I think if it's worth saying, not just stupid shit. Like I have a headache. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. Fuck. Yeah, I think I told you my my first like Facebook posts. Remember when it used to say your name? Yeah. Space and then did and then whatever you type whatever it is. Remember the back in the the early Facebook days, it would say like. Woodsy Peralta, hello everyone. How are you doing? It would it would do that. So I always wrote it in like an action sense. So my first ten tweets were something like inhaled, exhaled, <laughs> inhaled. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Exhaled, brushed my teeth, tied my shoe, tied his shoes. You say pooped? Like that. Um, I did not say pooped. I don't think okay. so. It said so. It said Mark Poles inhaled. Mark Poles exhaled. <laughs> Mark's polls, because I was trying to show how ridiculous, tw like the whole thing is. Yeah, tweeting. I have a headache, for example, but I get it. People are looking for sympathy, and sometimes you know what? Social media does have its weird in a, in a weird place. Like, say for l very lonely people, like people just feel really lonely. Sometimes they they tweet something like that as a cry for just some attention, right? And someone goes, "Oh, I hope you feel better." You know what? That might get them through tomorrow. Yeah, you know? that's a good point. You know, I'm just saying, I'm trying to take the, yeah. the high road on that. Yeah. But um, anyway, the, my next one yeah. is perfect for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because, like, come on, bro. Stop procrastinating. Stop. Stop it. But not today. <laughs> so, uh, this guy, Vittorio, I vow to pro pr stop procrastinating starting tomorrow. How's that going to work out? It reminds me of... Jo uh, Joe's Crab Shack in Phoenix area, where on the side on the side of the building it reads "Angry Free Crab Tomorrow." <laughs> so you drive up to it every day is tomorrow, right? right. Every, every it's always tomorrow. Yeah. So you always get free crab tomorrow, but, but never, it never today. is today. 
So you go back tomorrow, and it's it a tomorrow free, free guy tomorrow. So Whoa. that never ending circle. So Joe's Crab Shack procrastinates a lot. They totally procrastinate. They, but the, they they just sucker you in though. Those bastards. But then they give you a bag of really good stuff. But Angry yeah. Crab is better, I think. Uh, maybe not better, but they're both. It's good. well smaller, you know. Yeah, smaller chain. I like them. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that's uh, what I would do. Stop procrastinating. Starting not now. Tomorrow. Well, whenever. Uh, yeah. Well, in the same vein, I'm gonna start what you're starting tomorrow. I'm gonna start today. What? Today, I'm not gonna make any New Year's resolutions. Oh, that's real smart. If your New Year's resolution is not to make any more New Year's resolutions. Then you've failed spectacularly. Yeah, because you already made one. Yes. Especially when you've even used hashtag New Year's resolutions 2019 to make your promise even easier to find. I equate that as to when I give up Lent for Lent, but different. Well, like I bet I bet you that I don't gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Right? I mean, oh, isn't, shit. isn't that what it is? You like cheating motherfucker. I bet you that. I bet you that. You're I bet you. You're on. I never gamble. I'll bet you five bucks to never gamble again. Uh, uh what? Not again. I see that's the, the again thing through you. Now this one doesn't make sense, but you know, I've got B cups. So I, I got a nice little rack. I mean, little, little. Uh, wash Ace? I'd like to wash my bras more often. What? Yeah. Anyone else have mundane or odd New Year's resolutions? Some of mine are. Wash my bras more often. Bake bread at least once a month. Finally get those toddler stickers off the pantry door. Um, yeah, none of those apply to me. <laughs> bras. I eat bread. Toddlers. Once a day. I will eat baked bread once a day. Baked bread. Absolutely. <laughs> but I won't bake it once a month. I'm not going to wash my bras more often. My bras are great. They're very supportive. They're man's ears. Isn't that the man's ear? The man's ear. Oh yeah, from Seinfeld. Was yes. it? Was it Stiller? Was it? Je, was it, was it uh, Je, yeah, George's dad was George's the man's dad, ear, right? Yes. And he him. was the bro. No, who was the? Yeah, it's the man's ear. Was him and br the bro? It was, was the bro Kramer. bra? It was, it was instead of the bra. It was called the bro. That was what Kramer wanted to call it. Oh. And I think, is it Jerry's dad or is it George's dad that wanted to call it the man's ear? G George's dad. Yeah, right. Because he Jerry wore one, Stiller. Right. But. Wasn't he in the production of the trench coats? Wasn't he using? Wasn't he using his dad? His dad was in town. It was Jerry's dad. Jerry's was dad in town. was trench coats, right? But then he, that's when he started doing the man's ear thing, and 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 uh, George's dad wore one. Yes, and it's, let's call it the man's ear. I think it was the other. It wasn't the man's ear. I don't think it was Jerry Stiller. I, I, think it was the other I don't know, dude. But anyway, man's ear. I I should wash my man's ears more often. You should. Disgusting. Yeah, fuck those toddler stickers. I don't have toddler stickers. You know why? You don't know toddlers? Do you want me to come over and put no. stickers on some of your stuff? No, please. You sh no, please. <laughs> no, please. No, please. <laughs> that means no, no yes. You can put all your you can put all your Death Wish Coffee stickers on all your now jeans you want. Don't No don't, please. No stickers. No, no please. No. I'll live in filth and muck and mire and squire. But no stickers. No sticker. So muck clutter. And mire, no sticker. Semi clutter and the no way stickers. my clutter the way my brain works. Yes, but fuck those bra washers. Is it like burning bras but different? <laughs> All right, anyway, I think we got two more. Next up, bro. This is beautiful. This next year, I will always leave one potato chip. Every time Harrison says, every time I eat a pack of crisps, because he's from the UK, I'll leave one crisp. I'm guessing this is the way of getting used to leaving food alone when you're full. Too many people will consume everything on their plate regardless of whether they're full or not, especially me. However, using the same rule for potato chips seems strange. I think it's the courtesy thing. Courtesy for the chips? Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know. What? I always, I always saw it as like leaving one chip, never take the last chip. So I miss, I kind of think of it slightly differently than the guy I think intended. So I probably am looking at it skewed. You know what I'm saying? Like never eat the last chip. Like you're at a party. No. Never oh, take the last chip. But if you're alone. Right. I know. I'm just saying every time I eat a pack of crisp, I'll leave one crisp. Okay. It's slightly different than that. But I'm saying 
Yeah, if you're yeah, if you're at a party or something, you shouldn't you should always leave a few. Yeah, exactly. Don't that's be an was, asshole. That's what I was always saying. Yeah, no, I was I thought he was alone with his bag of fucking Doritos. You know what I was saying too? What? The, the last chip lever. Fucking take it, god damn it. No one's gonna fucking take the last chip. Well, just take it. Well, let's just go to Circle K and get some more fucking Doritos. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. But uh, but just eat it. Just eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it, just eat it. Do it. Just like weird eat it, like said. Eat it. Yeah. All right, man, I, that was it. I thought there were two more, but that was it. Oh, my goodness. Man, we breezed through those. What? Well, how I would did, like... How did this happen? I don't know. What? But today's December 27th again. Um, I would like to sh- I would like to, to say thank you for this year, sir, because we just started this June 2nd. July 2nd. July 2nd. July 2nd. We did. We started July 2nd, not June 2nd. My apologies. Today... December 27th, we have 7,150 downloads exactly. I've got it right here. Just just refreshed it. Thank you for making that happen. Thank you to Thank everyone you. listening. Happy New Year Maybe to New everyone. Year. I hope everyone has a resolution or gets to stick yeah, to it. Yeah, what's everyone's weird resolutions? Yeah, share them. Why don't share you them tell us. us what they are? You know, we'll listen to all of them. Hey, if you share them with us, we'll, we'll, put, we'll share it. We'll talk about it. Um, but we're grateful for everyone's listens, and I resolve to keep trying to trying to get out two episodes a week, man, with you because I love I love I the think we're recording three. Yeah. So that the math. Uh, we, we've been ahead. We've I'm been not ahead. good at math, dude. So we're getting ahead, but we didn't record one, one time this time. Divided by three of the integral of the apple pie yeah, album. Plus plus one a week. Go. Yeah. Yes. But we're we're right out there. Like I said, we're we're recording in arrears or publishing in arrears, but. Thank you to everyone who who's listened to us. I'm really grateful. Uh, Christopher, Sir, do you have any closing statements? Anything as you'd usual, like to closing out the be year? Be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Anything? And Merry New Year. Merry New Year. Merry New Year. <laughs>